Hello and welcome to the National Weather Service, New York, New York. We have forecast, watch, warning, and advisory responsibilities for more than 20 million people in the New York City metropolitan area, and that includes Northeast New Jersey, Southeast New York, all of Southern Connecticut, New York City, Long Island, and our marine zones. Welcome to our office. Let's continue on past our Administrative Support Assistance Desk, who performs a wide range of functions for the office staff and management team. This includes all administrative programs and activities for the office related to budget, travel, time, and attendance, as well as office supplies. The ASA also acts as a liaison with regional headquarters and the National Support Center. Moving into the operations room, you'll find where forecasts are built and warnings are sent. The National Weather Service New York, New York is open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. We have 15 full-time meteorologists, one hydrologist, one observation program leader, one information technology officer, two full-time electronic technicians, and four management members that keep the workplace running. The MIC, or meteorologist in charge, carries full managerial supervision, overseeing scheduling and personnel, and ensures the office runs smoothly. The WCM, or Warning Coordination Meteorologist, is the intermediary between our forecast office and the users of our products, including local media and the public. They work together with all of our customers and partners to help save lives and minimize property damage. They also conduct spotter training. The Science and Operations Officer, or SOO, is responsible for all the latest science technologies and services provided to the public and partners and ensures the office personnel are up to date with all training requirements. The operations floor houses eight workstations, each with five monitors to help the meteorologists with their forecast, watch, and warning procedures. We also have six large TVs that stay tuned to current weather or local news to provide situational awareness and ground truth that can supplement our conventional observation systems. The workstations possess a variety of tools, one of those being the three monitors running AWIPS, the Advanced Weather Interactive Processing System. Forecasters have access to a multitude of model data, observations, radar, and satellite information, as well as other sources. These are what we look at to help make the daily forecasts and send timely watches, warnings, and advisories to help maintain public safety. Once we decide what we want to forecast, we turn to our Graphical Forecast Editor, or GFE, to input and edit the data using a variety of tools. As you can see on the left, we have many forecast weather parameters we forecast for. Once we are done, we ship the graphics to the web, which becomes the point-and-click forecast that you see on our web pages. Our WSR-88D radar sits at 100 feet tall next to our office, and we have a dedicated computer screen to constantly monitor its status. Here we can check if the radar is having any problems, or we can change how it's running to help give us better radar information. This allows us to send out more accurate watches and warnings. What happens if we have an issue with technology or observing systems at the office? We have two electronic technicians, led by the electronic systems analyst, that work to fix and keep everything running. They are the technical experts at the office, maintaining Doppler radar, observing systems, and weather radio, as well as making visits to airports within our county warning area to keep ASOS's running smoothly. Our NOAA weather radio system is what transmits all of our critical watches, warnings, and advisories to the public ears. It is used in conjunction with the AWIP software to routinely monitor the NWR broadcasts across our service area. The office's thermometer maintains a current temperature display and tracks maximum and minimum temperatures. It sits beside the office barometer that provides current surface pressure and altimeter readings. Our rain gauges and snowboards are used to measure rainfall and snow depth totals respectively. As a co-op site, we record these data on a daily basis to maintain climate records. The New York, New York office also launches weather balloons twice a day. We launch in every weather condition except lightning. We prepare the radio sound, which gathers the data here in the office to make sure it is working properly. From there, we take the radio sound and the empty balloon to our upper air building just down the road and send off the train. These data are crucial for weather modeling and to our local forecasting. The training room is where our operational staff hone their skills and practice for short fused hazards. 
The training room also holds all the climate data books from the official New York City observations, dating back to 1872. Inside, you can find handwritten weather observations or notes for each hour of a given day in a given month. Thank you for watching and learning a little more about your National Weather Service office in Upton, New York. As you can see, we are doing everything we can to help build towards a weather-ready nation. If you have any questions or concerns, you can contact us through social media or send us an email. A link to our webpage can be found in the video's description. Thank you very much.